Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my first one of the first video uh, of my digital painting, and this is the final work I've done. is a uh, Iron Man Mark Seven from the Avengers movie. So yeah, I started off by doing a sketch. Basically, I, I have a photo reference for this painting. Basically, um, it's actually one of the first. Uh, uh, it's not the first. It's one of the first digital painting that. Did. and uh, yeah so uh, I was still learning doing this digital painting stuff and that's why uh, I prefer to starting off by doing some photo reference and get to learn some techniques first before I actually um, do create my own stuff yeah so okay so this part actually doing the face the face part is actually took the longest I feel uh, Okay, so this artwork is actually about six hours, six hour plus, and the face part, just the mask or, or the head, uh, it took me around three hours, you know, just to get the the value, the composition, the lightning right for the face, the mask, and also adding some dirt or some damages on the mask itself. Um. I would say um, to draw or paint Iron Man is different uh, for for this one, or which is the, the the more dirtier style. Um, if I would have to draw or paint the the cleaner one, the one where uh, the mask is very clear and very reflective and all, it, 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 I would have to use a different style different approach because the lightning is very strong in that one while this one is is more softer and there's dirt and there's scratches and all over it so it, I would say it's a different style uh, I, I wouldn't say which one is harder or tougher I would say it's different and uh, yeah so I would use, uh, I'm using a Wacom bamboo the small the cheapest one yeah, so um, sorry about that, but I have to zoom in a lot of times because the the tablet is quite small. Yeah, so it, it took me a while to get the the color right as well. But I, I I'm actually quite familiar with uh, Photoshop, so that is why. Um, uh, it took um, lesser time, but not really uh, that short amount of time. It's still long, but still, I mean, if I if I haven't known Photoshop first, it would take a lot longer than this. And the color, I used to pick the color by myself uh, um, by using a color picker. I could actually use the swatches. Which uh, a lot of people, a lot of artists, they actually use, but um, uh, uh, I'm not very familiar with that. I will have to learn that later. So swatches is basically the color set that will come. So you just click on it, and then the right color will just pop up. The swatches that provided by Photoshop is actually um, uh, it cover all all color ranges, but for this one, I actually prefer only the red. Uh, a lot of shades of red, so I, I, I use a pink color myself. So the for brushes, I as a starter, I I think I'll use a lot of circle, soft, softer brush, mixed with hard brush for 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 the lines for lines and the strong angular shapes. I'll use a harder brush. For the brushes, I use circle brush and uh, also texture brush. I uh, I'm quite afraid to use the the angular brushes like the rectangular or the square brushes because um, I'm still learning how to do this. You know, so if I do something wrong, it will be a lot harder to recover if I use those angular brushes. So. Okay, I'm basically done with the head part. I'm moving on to the neck, the lower part of the body, and then uh, move on to the shoulder part. So the way I I approach this is, 
um, my basically looking at at the picture and I separate objects by objects so that's how I separate the layers as well I'll do the head first which is one object and then below the layer the head layer will be the neck followed by the shoulder and all so that's how I see things I, I see things uh, as objects itself and for the color in each object as we know each object they've got shadows and all so uh, I'll try to to see um, to see these colors as layers as well layers by layers which color will come first as the lower as the base layer and then I'll paint other colors on top of it so the, sh the shadows of the objects on the reflection will mostly be be be, um, be a top layer it, it will not be a base layer so yeah basically I'm done with the I'm more or less done with the lower part Oops. looks okay yeah, so how I separate objects is by drawing sketches. As you can see, I draw lines. And these lines will actually be deleted afterwards. It will just be there for me to um, draw the colors um, on place so that uh, I have a reference for it. Uh, th this kind of realistic uh, photo, uh, digital painting based on photo, are, you know, mostly people won't do line. They, 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 they will have to delete line. And that is, uh, yeah. I would say six hours uh, of this kind of painting. Uh, I would say is is about average or a bit um, longer than average. I think a lot of people will take like four hours or less. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's my one of first time. Not first time, but. Uh, I'm still a beginner in this field. Uh, so add some scratches on the shoulder, and the color is actually quite off a bit. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now I'm finished with the the the. the Iron Man's right shoulder, not exactly a shoulder, but the the, the booster, the right booster. Um, I'm moving on to the left one, left one, um, because the light source actually coming from the coming from right side of Iron Man, so the left side of his body will actually be more darker, you know. It's quite it's quite important to understand the you know the the you know you see pictures and you see the value in it uh, as in the the color value the lightning value and the composition I think the composition is a bit off for me I but I didn't really care as you can see the the, the left no the Iron Man's right side is a is a bit bigger his booster and it's not actually straight but I I I don't really care. Uh, it's my first time. So yeah, I'm finished with the booster now. I'm off to the shoulder part. And uh, yeah. So as you can see, I I put the base color first, followed by some shadows and then uh, some lightning on top of it. Uh, separate objects. With some and then yeah, uh, put some scratches. The way I learn uh, this digital painting is by, by, by practicing. Basically, a lot of practice will, will definitely make you work a lot more faster in the future. Because you learn technique, basically. You know what kind of technique. Even as I was doing this, um, it took a lot uh, lesser time for me to do the shoulder, the shoulder part or the leather part, while the the head part, or the face part, it took a lot longer because. I actually learned during the course of this six hour thing. Okay, now uh, I'm all less done with it. So, yeah.
uh, do some final touching blurring to create a depth of field and yep it's done six hours two days actually three hours on the first day and three hours on the second day yep that's about it thank you thank you